We are tracking more rain throughout the morning and afternoon though, so we've still got a ways to go here. That flood threat will ebb and flow up and down as it does with the intensity of the rain. So here's where we stand as of this morning. Our live radar showing rain all over the place. Our heaviest of the rain is still back through the Atchafalaya and closer to Lafayette, but we've got a widespread, really a moderate persistent rain that's been falling across the North Shore all night long. Here on the South Shore, we've had more breaks mixing in, so that's why we haven't had any major problems uh, with flooding, but rainfall totals have really added up overnight. Parts of the North Shore 5, 6, 7, nearly 8 inches of rain being clocked right near the lake there on the North Shore and down here on the South Shore. You can see those totals drop off dramatically. The bigger totals though, 7, 10 inches or so has been falling out in western parts of the state. We still got a ways to go though. So again, we're tracking light to moderate rain falling across the city right now. It's going to be a wet drive across any of the interstates and roadways across the area here. The rain uh, you could see there, the yellow is much more prominent across the North Shore this morning with some embedded heavier downpours, but this type of rainfall rate it is manageable, still adding up the heaviest of the rain back through western Louisiana, and we're starting to see additional development back into Texas. This is our next storm system that will move in around the early afternoon. So as we go through today, the chance of rain is going to be highest as we go throughout the morning and then the early afternoon. I'll show you the hour by hour as we go through this afternoon here, because if you're out one, two, three o'clock today, could have some strong storms, could have heavy rain moving through as well. And then by this evening, things finally start to wind down. If this graphic will update and quit taking its time. There we go. Uh, you can see there by this afternoon into this evening, we start to see that really taper off. So we see improvements later on tonight. And then really the chance for rain is not as high tomorrow. I think your Thursday has a couple showers and thunderstorms, but it's not going to be a complete wash tomorrow the way it looks right now. Once we get into your Friday, chance of rain spikes back up. Another disturbance moves through. We'll go with a 60% chance of showers with a few thunderstorms there for Friday. And then once we get into the weekend, the chance of rain's not zero, but it's looking less and less rainy and our flood threat finally diminishes.